welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Bobby. I'm Jeff. And together we are East, East Coast, Coast Keto. Keto. So today we're going to talk to you about water, 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 and how much you should drink. But before that, we're going to ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. And ring the bell. And that way you'll get notified every time we put up a new video and you'll be kept up to date with everything Keto. Okay, perfect. So water. Water, water. Everywhere. H2O or is it right H behind us. H2 no. Ironically. Ironically. There's <laughs> water behind us. So one of the things that you uh, see often on the ketogenic forums is okay, and, how much well, water not do just, you not just keto, but weight loss in general. In general, yeah. Yep. So the amount of water you should drink, you take your body weight and you times it by the amount of hairs on your leg. And, and you divide by pie. Divide or... that by how many dogs you have in your house. And then you do the hokey pokey and turn yourself inside out. And that's how many glasses of what? No. It, it has nothing to do with that at all. There's a there's a misconception out in the ketogenic uh, Is community. Is it a misconception or a misconception? It's, it's foolishness. You know, a, a lot of people come into the keto world and they think they have to sit down and they have to jam the water, just drink, 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 drink. I keep a, a 10 gallon bucket by my desk every day <laughs> and, and I drink 10 of those and, and I'm fine. And one of the things that I want you to do, don't take my word for it, is I want you to Google water intoxication or over hydration. Um, it is a real thing. Um, some people think that the more water you drink, the better it is for you. But what you can actually do is you can wash out your electrolytes. Now, your, your, you learn back in biology that your, your cells are made up of 96% water. Your body is made up of 96% water. But that's not the case. Your, those, those cells are actually made up of your, your uh, potassium. Your electrolytes. Your magnesium. And, and sodium. And your sodium. Encapsulated and, in water. Exactly. So that's those. That's what make up your cells, and that's why you hear a lot of us in the ketogenic community talking about make sure your electrolytes are good, make sure your electrolytes are good, because these three elements need to be equally balanced, or your body is going to start screaming at you and, and say, and "Okay, I I need something." Yeah, if you're flushing your, all your electrolytes out, the the keto flu, which we've talked about numerous times, it's going to be hard and real. Okay. Exactly. So if you drink too much water, what's going to happen is you're going to you're just going to start flushing all those electrolytes out and you're going to you're going to take away all of the, the salt and the potassium you can get yourself and, in and you can get trouble. yourself in, in the serious health issues. So in reality, how much water should you drink? OK, so first, when you start keto, one of the things that you are going to notice is that you are super thirsty. And what's happening is your body is trying to detox. It is shuttling um, a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of toxins and, and chemicals and, and, and all kinds of uglies out of your body. And it's doing this by what they refer as a sodium flush. Now, it's not just sodium, it's those three electrolytes, your sodium, magnesium, and your potassium. Um, and as those are going out, that's one of the reasons why we say to each other, you need to increase your, your pink salts, you need to supplement your magnesium, and you need to eat potassium-rich foods because we know that your body is just is just trying to deplete itself of all the ugly things that are in there and is using these three things and the water that surrounds them as a carrier to get all this ugly stuff out of your body. Because inside those cells, along with the sodium, potassium, and magnesium and water, is all the, the crap. Well, that's how your body deals with all these toxins. Like if you if you eat a food that has, has a chemical in it that your body can't process, it takes it and it encapsulates it in fat and it kind of holds it in there because it doesn't want it out running rampant in, in your body. So it tries to protect you by holding that ugly little thing inside of the, of the okay. cell. Okay. So when you're first starting keto, you are going to be extra thirsty because of that sodium flush. And how much water do we recommend you, uh, you drink? What's the formula? Drink the thirst. There is no formula. That's it. If, if you're thirsty, drink. If you're a person who's out working in the sun or you're working physical uh, hard labor or you're sweating a lot or you're used to drinking a lot of water. Yeah, if, if, if you're a runner and used to drinking a lot, continue to drink a lot of water. You know, but, but again, you... Don't change the amount of water that 
you're consuming just because someone said, oh, you need to. No, you don't. You don't need to. You can, like you said earlier, we can, you can get into trouble drinking too much water. Yeah. Google it yourself and research yeah. it yourself. Don't take my, my or our word for it. Um, intoxication. And if you are the type of person who forgets to drink water, I, I was the type of person before keto, I, I was never thirsty and I know it's, it's not healthy. I'm not saying this is a good thing. But I got to the point in my life where I realized that I needed that visual reminder in my life. So I always keep a glass of water by my side when I'm working away. Now I, I don't guzzle, I don't, oh my God, I got to drink eight glasses of water a day. Um, I, I drink when, when I'm thirsty. I look up, I see the water, okay, I'll have a sip. Talking about the eight glasses of water, did you guys know that was a myth? It was arbitrary. Well, what happened was years ago, there was a fellow who was writing an article and he was talking about, in general, this is what people drink. And he pulled a number out of his head and said, in general, most adults drink around eight glasses of water a day. Like, it, it, was, it was a number that he just, he just pulled yeah. out, out of his head. In, in general, it might have been what, what he drank, what his wife drank, what, yeah. his, what his kids drank, whatever. But that article came forward into, into modern times and it's it's become made its way into the food guide and it's become which it, a myth don't get me started. it's become a myth that people think you have to drink eight glasses of water a day there's people who drink more there's people who drink less i mean we, yeah. we we all have different needs and wants um well you also get water or fluids from other sources well, coffee exactly and and his and his information that he was using back then it wasn't just pure water he was taking into account you know juices and, and coffee and if you're eating a vegetable if it has water in there all that stuff all fluids that you go into your body that's what he was taking into account okay. back then now if you ask somebody now in in the nutrition field they would say no it has to be water coffee doesn't count blah 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 doesn't count that's a that's a myth i hate to tell you that um, in general, if you are drinking one glass of water per meal, so you know three glasses of water a day, your your body is getting what it needs. You know, not even talking about again, not to say that's all you need. Not at all. Drink the thirst. If you're thirsty, drink water. Drink the thirst. What you need to do, ketogenic living, in my opinion, is all about learning how to listen to your body. Your body is. It's going to tell you if your it's body thirsty. is talking to you, you know, every minute of the day. And if you slow down and, and try to listen to it, you're going to be amazed at what your body is telling you. And it will tell you exactly how much water it needs. And uh, you and your body will do just fine. Your body is telling you you're unhealthy. You need to eat keto and get healthy. And drink your thirst. Drink the thirst. Anyway, that's it for today. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so we can let you know when we got some new content coming out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.